to jump out and... I uh, know. I wonder if we should walk in the middle of the street. Yeah, probably. Okay. Knowing that this dog was probably going to be very afraid, it could just lash out from underneath the parked car and come after us. And so we moved ourselves up to the middle of the street, and as we walked down the sidewalk, just kind of kept looking under the cars. There he is. Is that him right there? Is that a dog? We called out to the dog to see if we could get it out from around the front of the car and see what we were up against. Oh, so hi, Pup Pup. Louise and I were just like shocked at what we saw. Is that a dog? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a chihuahua. Hey, how's it going? Someone left it there? No, so we came out, he was on the, uh, I guess he must have got away, his knees got stuck under the car. Louise and I were expecting a big old pit bull. It was like, are you kidding me? This is the dog everybody's been scared of? Hi, Pup. Hey, Pup. <laughs> oh, no, you're scaring me. I didn't try to bite you. We didn't even try yet. We'll get him with a blanket. You know, the poor little guy was really scared. So, you know, a great way to catch a little dog is with a blanket or, or a sheet or a towel. It's safe. It usually diffuses them right away. It kind of disorients them. We'll do this really gentle so you don't get scared. As I was trying to put this blanket over this little guy, his eyes were like bulging out of his head. He was so afraid. And he was lashing out. <laughs> OK. Little dogs can act very aggressive. To them, the world is a big, scary place sometimes. Over the years, I've actually been bitten more by little dogs than big dogs. You know, the reality is that a scared dog can act out, and we have to be careful. <laughs> OK. I know you're angry. I know you're angry. You're angry. Okay. okay. All right, there you go. That's how you catch a little dog. Okay, Steve. <laughs> you're okay. His head's right here. You got him. <laughs> Louise just scooped him up, and uh, once she had him in her arms, you know, he he settled down a little bit. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> See you later. You know, it's freezing cold out. You know, if not for some caring neighbors, who knows what would happened to this poor little dog tonight. All right. He's got tags on. So I know. Yeah. You, know it's, you know what? He got, someone was walking him. I mean, he just got away from them. The dog had a harness on. It was actually a leash that was stuck underneath the tire. We saw tags, several name tags. And then, you know, we realized this wasn't some street dog. This was a dog that got away from its owner. Let's go on. Hi, Keenan. Yeah. Hi, this is Villa Lobos Rescue Center. We're the one with your dog, Pizza. Ah, uh, Pizza Dog. You lost him, or what was what happened? Because we um, we tracked you down through all of his tags out of New York City. Yeah, yeah. Basically, I was in New Orleans and I got jumped randomly by some people, and my dog got scared and ran away. Oh. And I, I mean, I yelled his name, but I just like. He was probably just so scared that he didn't want to come out. Oh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Pizza's owner traveled down to New Orleans, where he apparently was mugged and beat up and ended up in the hospital. And little Pizza's been running loose. Are you OK? Yeah, I have a broken finger, a broken nose, a fractured hand, and um, I got two, I got staples on both sides of my head. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. I feel horrible for what this guy has gone through in the last couple of days. All this poor guy can do is hope that somebody finds this dog because he's still recovering from getting jumped and beat up. I'd like to see him get back to you, you know, as soon as possible. Do you live here in New Orleans or are you visiting? Visiting. I'm actually in a motel in Slidell right now. Oh, wow. Wow. Slidell is only about half an hour from the city, so it's the least we could do to get this little dog back to his owner. You know what? We'll just bring pizza to you, so you don't have to worry about coming all the way back out here in New Orleans. All right, thank you so much again. You're welcome. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Oh, that was good. Wow. Wow. We find so many dogs dumped and, and strays whose owners never show up. So to find a dog whose owner actually wants him back is the best thing ever, and we're going to do what we can to get this dog back immediately. The big message here is that a $5 name tag is possibly getting this dog reunited with his owner in less than 24 hours. Pizza, are you excited to see your papa? Louise got into a conversation with Pizza and was asking him 
how excited he was to see his owner. And before the words got out of her mouth, he actually showed her. What? what? Oh, God, is he Oh, no, he's pissing on me. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, he's pissing on me. Oh, my God, it's running down my leg. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God, he's making me be in my pants. Oh my. T, it's still calling. Can you pull over or something? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> oh God, it's everywhere. By the time we got to the hotel where Pizza's owner was staying in Slidell, Louise had recovered from her trauma and she was almost dried off. Hey, Pizza. You know, as we're pulling up to the motel, you know, there are, are unknowns. You know, we don't know the owner. We haven't met him yet, obviously. But you know what? Pizza had everything with him that said his owner was responsible. This little dog was neutered. He had shots. He had tags. Everything pointed to a good owner. Hi. Get in. Pizza. Pizza, dude. <laughs> oh, you wrapped him over me. <laughs> Look at his tail. Look at his tail. I'm so sorry. <laughs> He's so happy. I feel so happy. <laughs> he was just so happy to see his owner. And he was just whining and crying and whimpering, and his little tail was wagging. It, it, was, it was what we had hoped for. Here's all his stuff. Oh, like his little collar and his, his, his That's how he found you with the tags. Yeah. Yes. So, no, no. Oh my God, he's oh, look so at your happy. Hand. Oh, your, oh, at your hand. I got a broken finger. I got a broken nose. I got a fractured hand. Oh, oh my God. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. My heart went out to him to think what he went through with seven guys beating him up and his little dog running off. And all he was doing was just calling out for his dog, trying to get him to come back to him. It was, it was a happy ending to a sad story. Oh my God, look at that tail. It won't stop wagging. I love you so much, buddy boy. <laughs> buddy boy. Do you want the blanket, Pam? Thank you. I don't want to break you, so I don't want to hug you too hard. <laughs> I love him so much. And I really appreciate Tia bringing him back to me because I missed him, and I was scared for him. The great thing about this story is that we were able to see it from the beginning to the end all the way through. To be able to reunite pizza with Keenan in less than 24 hours. I mean, talk about the fastest happy ending I think we've ever had. So now if we could only get about 300 pit bulls reunited with their owners like that. <laughs>